Oh, what's up guys Mark here from VIP shop management let me start with by saying happy new year um, uh, and let's get to work so basically it's a one second thing so there's a lot of stuff are coming the update is not ready yet but it will be ready probably today or tomorrow uh, so many changes at once but they're all an amazing changes um, let's start with well, first of all, there's a feature that I've been asked about and we had it in the fourth generation and it was, can I add inventory um, to can job? Yes, you can. There's a link right there. Just click on add from inventory and you can do that. So let's start with that. That should be done. Um, <clears throat> another thing I want to talk about is ability to export um, general inventory, entire inventory. Yes, you can. I cannot demonstrate it here, but yes, you can. And one more option is <clears throat> ability to import general inventory. You just gotta make sure you match the header right here and you should be able to import general inventory. So those are uh, very important option, but not. I'm not talking about those. Uh, I'm not here for that. I'm here for something way bigger than that. Let's start with it. So we're talking about, I don't know if you guys watched the video about subtotal everybody like tech metric uh, shop monkey they all have subtotal only problem with it the way they did it is basically you get a it's like an extra work uh, you gotta add the title it, it, it we I, I like it that the way it separates each job but I'm not we really don't have any extra time to add extra work and VIP shop management is all about saving time i need stuff done automated automatically and this is i finally came up with something it's done automatically it's beautiful let's check it out let's select an estimate real quick and uh, let's see how that works so well first of all every job will have a subtotal from now on so you see if i added basic all change uh it's going to add subtotal and it, but if i add an alignment to it now so the only thing that merge together is parts and labor. Parts and labor, they can basically group together. Uh, parts and labor and then parts and labor will group together separately. So let's check this out. Say I want to add alternator. You notice right there, there is a subtotal and they're, they're grouped together. The beauty of that, that's really important. It's going to work into two... Um, a positive thing number one is I can always see how much the alternator is costing me 371.45 instantly especially when I have a big invoice and uh, number two is it's a it's a it divides the, the the jobs and that way when you have a big like let's look at let's look at this so if what if I have uh, brake pads and rotors and it's lately I'm glad everybody's busy and I seen invoices like wow I've never seen invoices like this but that's a good thing so let's say I want to add rear pads and rotors um, let's say radiator and let's say how bearing so this is a big estimate right now this is like fifteen hundred dollar estimate and if you look, it's all divided beautifully. The alternator, there's a subtotal for the alternator. The brake front pads and rotors. You can see that. The rear pads and rotors. Everything is connected together. All right, well, what happened when I delete? Obviously, you're not gonna be dealing with the subtotal. There's no, you, you, even if you click on it, there's nothing. Even if you run the mouse over it, there's nothing. So you know, you, there's nothing you can do with that. It's always there, but that's not. Keep in mind, that's not changing the way it's printing. So if I want to try to print this estimate, um, everything, parts and labor, still group together. So that did not change anything for the customer himself. But let's continue. We're not done here. So what if? What happened if I wanna? What if I want to group part like the basic all change alignment and those two, the first job and the second job? Can I group them together? Yes, you can. Just click and hold and move it up, and you can see automatically actually grouped them together. So, uh, which is pretty cool. What if I want to separate them? 
really simple. What do I want to separate? Let's say bring the alternator back. And then if you look, it did separate them. All right, so another thing that people were having problem with, what if I wanna drag something from the bottom and put it all the way to the top? On a big invoice, that was a problem, not anymore. I can click now and drag it. And then when I reach here, well, I wanna go keep, keep going. So I can go right here and it's gonna scroll automatically up for you and put it on the first one. So I can go back and grab the other one scroll all the way up and just just put it right there so now if we look we have the, the bearing up top so you can scroll a lot easier you can do the same way going down if I want to go down once you hit that area it starts scrolling automatically and let's just get it, grab the labor too So everything is done, and basically, and it goes back where it started, so which is really cool. Um, deleting a job, no problem. I can delete, no problem. All right. So the only thing that left out of this is, which is something that I, when I've seen like transmission shops already have like a big invoice, is I wish we can view it like we need to expand this, and we did that option for you now. When the invoice, when, when the estimate or the invoice is too big, if you scroll at the, the last line right here, if you click on the last line, look what happens. It opens it up. And what, the beauty of that, I can see more now and I can still function. I can add, um, the, the edit, delete. So I can, it's not just seeing it, I can still function 100%. I can even just go right here and just grab something from A and J. Let's just grab an oxygen sensor. Add. Yeah, this is one of the most important videos. So please watch to the end. Should have started with that. So yeah, so you see at the bottom of it, I can see the oxygen sensor job right there. Scroll back and forth. So it's a lot easier to view. When I'm done, I just, you know, uh, click on this button and collapse everything back so you can expand it to expand just click on the last row Collapse click on the red button, which is really cool. All right, so That's how we're gonna be looking like like I said, you don't have to do anything So there's nothing needs to be done from your end uh, just uh, uh, It's it's more organizing. Yeah, uh, it's more uh, grouping things together automatically you don't have to do anything but what about so this what's the benefit of this from the customer end if we are given a quote not an estimate a quote hey can you give me a quote on a on an alternator and a starter and uh, let's let's do this right now let's add a quote I just want to give them a quote Let's, let's let's grab it automatically. We'll grab this from A and J and alternator. So we have the alternator here. We're gonna add the labor. Add. All right, transfer. So this is the quote for the alternator. What if I want to give him a the quote for a starter? I'm just gonna add it from Can Jobs right here. Uh, starter. Click. Add. So. So, I mean, I, right here I can tell them, well, you know, the alternator before tax is going to cost you $521. Um, the star is going to cost you $256.45 before taxes. All right, what if I want to um, uh, print it? Let's see, print preview. We're going to click on print, print preview. And I switched everything. So, I want to separate quote from estimate. Quote is just a quote estimate it's an estimate quote is just you know quote can change estimate can change too but quote is just like hey can you give me a quote on something quote me on something so that's how it looks like but here's what's cool about this let me do this again you see how you have subtotal right here and subtotal right here i think somebody asked me about this like three years ago I'm like, well, we weren't there yet. He's, he, he's like, Mark, if you made that subtotal 
Um, I'll buy the program right now. <laughs> anyway, well, you can't buy it anymore. You got to subscribe. But let's look at it, see how it looks like. It's really beautiful for the customer right now. So the customer will get this right now. So first of all, it's gonna say quote, at the bottom it's gonna say quote total. And uh, you can see part and labor and uh, subtotals for each. So now yeah, that, the beauty of that, the whole point idea of that, when the customer comes back and says, you know what, I cannot afford the, 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 the starter right now, let's do the alternator. And then he comes back so you can scratch, so he has it, he scratch, and that's, what, that's the whole idea of it. Basically, rich people that don't have this problem, they just say, go ahead and do the whole thing, but we gotta work with everybody, so that comes in handy if you don't have, if you're on a budget, and you know, I mean, hey, I subtold 500, okay, so I'll save that much, and that's it. So that's the beauty of that. Um, uh, we added a lot of stuff to the uh, to the uh, quotes. Um, basically, you will have everything is organized from now on in quotes. I don't think it was organized. Now it's organized. You still can you can drag and drop uh, in quote. You didn't have that option before, so you can do that now. I can switch the the starter. Uh, Actually, we switched that wrong. Let's just put the starter up top. So I can put the starter, so I can drag and drop, I can organize, I can expand to, let's say I have a, um, let's say this port two pads and rotors, um, left hub bearing, right hub bearing. So let's look at this, that's a big estimate. I can, I can expand it too, so I can see the whole thing. And if I click on print preview now, And this is how it's gonna look like. See, that's the beauty of that. It's a big quote. And so you can see the totals right there after each one. Pretty cool. Let's add some more. Let's make it crazy. What else do we have here? Let's add some tires. Tires, add four tires. 2000 all right and this print preview that's a long so yeah, the fees will still be separate the fees and sublet and all that will still be separate but this is how it would look like I think the customer can view it uh, really cool like this and um, can plan ahead for it um, I'm really excited about this. I think this this uh, update, it's really huge, man. Uh, let's add some mileage right here. That's pretty cool. That's a nice looking quote. <laughs> and yeah, people still hanging on with the shop monkey. <laughs> So that's a beautiful quote right here. Can we send that quote in an email? Yes, you can. Can we send a quote in a, in a text message? Yes, we can. Um, let's just send it like this. It's gonna let you attach quote. And just like that, let's view this, see how it looks like. Um, close this that's what the customer will receive so he can plan so it's called plan ahead quote basically that's the whole uh, idea of a subtotal so the subtotal can help the customer plan ahead by you know this is I don't like it on the estimate on invoice uh, why is that um, first of all I believe in a lot of states that the, the, the parts and the labor must be grouped together. Um, um, but some states, uh, they don't care. Uh, so, but the, I like the, I like the, the, the invoice and the estimate. Let's go back to the invoice and the estimate. If I print preview for the customer, I like everything like this. This is the parts, this is the labor, that's it. And there is no, he cannot, it doesn't need to connect them together. 
Um, but for you here, I think it's really cool to be connected together um, just to, just to, I mean, like I said, it's a separation, it's an easy on the eye. So I've been working on it and testing it today and seeing the difference between without it and with it, a huge difference, a huge, like you're organized automatically. I love it. Um, you can see, I, I love it. Like in moving things up, like it's so easy to, I like that a lot. So let's, uh, let's say if I want to move the bearing right here, you see like oxygen sensor alone, um, wheel bearing alone has its own subtotal. And you have basically, like you have a calculator inside of a calculator. So really cool. And just when you're done, just put it there and you still can do whatever you want the way, the old way. Um, what else I want to talk about? One more last thing that some people were asking about. So, you know, we our photos is uh, through uh, Google Photos, but we don't recommend it anymore. You still can use it, but we don't recommend it anymore. We want everybody to switch to Google Drive. Basically, the, the pictures will be set. Pictures, we can, well, two things. First, we can add, we, now we can add PDF file like before and we can add uh, pictures and we can add videos, three in one. So let me check this out. So switch to that, that's how we switch. Um, settings, I choose uh, photo, video, location, just click uh, Google Drive, and we can sync them between computers now. Um, just I gotta make another video about that, but I'm just gonna show you how that works. So if I come in here, and let me see if I have, let's look on test one right here. I don't have that. Okay. Nope, I believe this. Okay, let me try again. Delete it. Sorry. It's, I think it's open somewhere or something. Um, DVI. Let's add the DVI. And uh, so once it's. Uh, I can't add anything, it looks like. All right, so here, here we go. So this is so now, like I said, now you have three ways of viewing. You can view photos. Um, let's add a photo right here, real quick. I don't know if I have something here. Let's say I want to add this photo. So I can view a photo. I can view a PDF file, and I can view a video. So photos, PDF file, videos. Uh, the reason we recommend this more than uh, Google Photos too is because we don't have much control of Google Photos because they're on, on the cloud. We got to download it. Uh, and uh, here we have more control. I think, to be honest with you, they're both cool. As long as Google Photos continue to work, uh, it's really cool. But just pick one. Don't, don't do both. Just pick one and choose. And if Google Photos at some point uh, stop working at least we have a plan now of what to do to delete it's really simple just delete just delete and just delete and just close so that's another thing but the main thing is the subtotal is here anyway I appreciate you guys until next time thanks for watching happy new year wish everybody the best year ever thank you so much